What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is uh, tutorial 10 from numpy series so today's topic will be how to create numpy array from a csv file so i believe uh, in the last few tutorials we have done just the we have done the basic things like uh, how to create array lean space then uh, the other other things like uh, arrange lean space uh, how to create a three dimensional array how to create two dimensional array how to get the index how to slice how to do some sort of indexing a uh, different sort of things but i i think uh, it's uh, actually going into very uh, kind of very basics or very dry things so that is why just uh, trying to change some uh, a bit uh, the tempo of the class so that is why i created this sort of like uh, some use case driven approach so this will also give you some sort of uh, excitement uh, for all the students and they will also get some sort of encouragement so in this topic we'll be having one csv file from the csv file we'll be going to generate an mpy file so this is some very most and useful and you can say it's a very popular use case all the data scientists data analysts uh, definitely do on their uh, daily to daily job okay so if you know how to convert a csv file into numpy array then this is definitely you learn something amazing and you will be trust me you'll be able to use those uh, techniques in your near future of of all of, or someone already if if someone is already working on the field of data science or any data analytics kind of a thing please try to uh, use those sort of techniques actually it will help you to uh, like master those skills suppose you learn this thing but if you're not applying in your own job activities then definitely you will uh, forget or you will not be able to uh, like sharpen your skill uh, based on the fundamental things whatever i am teaching over here so try to adapt something then try to implement those things definitely the implementation part will give you some sort of uh, new learning so my uh, humble request is that after watching this video try to practice this thing then try to implement this thing and come up with some sort of different ideas maybe we can learn together you can share with the community and also if you have some more use cases also you can share so enough of talking guys so let me switch to the next part so i have a file uh, uh, numpy.txt uh, i'll be showing you that file the file structure is like this so it is a three row four column uh, array so two dimensional array definitely you can see so what we'll do uh, we'll try to generate uh, this is a csv file actually and in this format comma separated and from this file we'll be going to generate an umpire array with the same elements so how to do that for that let me open my id uh, over here so this is a uh, last tutorial tutorial 9 so what is my okay so this is for tutorial 10 so let me give a name here tuto tutorial 10 okay and heading like this then we'll put something generate numpy array from csv file okay like this so first thing first uh, let me show you guys the file so this is the file so this is a normal csv file if you see all elements are separated by comma so you can use different delimiter that i will show again so first we'll see with comma then after that we'll see with some other delimiter okay so this is a file this is a delimiter we'll we'll try to create the same uh, like we will try to create the same numpy array with the same elements okay so for that first import import numpy as np okay and we need something else with uh, from io import string io and import io this io function is to read actually so first thing first we'll read the file with io dot this is this is maybe a uh, familiar to everyone so all of you must know this thing how to read there there is actually different methods are available but this is one of the my favorite method okay as f1 then data equals to f1 dot read okay so here actually i'm just reading the file and after that f1 dot close okay it is close here so that's it so let's now print the data okay see i got this thing and why i got slash in it is actually in the new line so we have to uh, 
uh, do some sort of formatting using string IO and after that we'll be going to create this thing so okay so for that uh, what do you have to do let's declare one variable a and it will be NP now this is a main or fundamental uh, like part there is some method available gen from text means generate from text and this is going to be uh, string IO and will be used on this data whatever you got from here and we need to uh, mention our delimiter by default it is none if you don't mention anything okay so let's see uh, deli so I just missed a uh, like spelling it will be delimiter okay so it's done so if you put this thing see I got this thing okay so just to re-verify one thing See, it's three four three row four columns so that's it guys so uh, first we need to import these two additional things you have to read the file and after that you have to apply this in gen from text okay so what I'll do I'll try to show you one more example with some sort of different delimiter and uh, after that you can close the video so just uh, give me some time so that I can quickly uh, do this thing over here and after that we can go ahead and start the next tutorial okay so I'll just giving uh, you guys some sort of uh, uh, enablement that you should use in your uh, next tutorial as well. So delimiter as comma. Okay. Uh, okay. So next tutorial, I mean the next video, uh, not next video, sorry, the next slide, I'll be going to use delimiter as a uh, something else, maybe a pipe. Okay so delimiter as pipe okay so let me change this thing okay so what i'll do now i'll just change the delimiter over here so let me put pipe as a delimiter so it will be like this okay like this like this okay like this i can use control h replace method but uh, i'm just using this thing is not a big deal okay so like this so guys you can see you can do multiple things using this thing if you have some complex logic like you are having uh, some values from that value you have to get the sign of that those values and after that you can create uh, the numpy array so this is a conditional logic you can come up with your from your mind actually so this is a very fundamental popular and very useful things all data science do on their on job or daily to daily jobs like generating numpy array from some sort of things for some sort of activities okay so that's it so let's uh, go ahead and start this tutorial again so let me just Okay, now next thing is that we'll be going to again read the file with io.open. Okay, and here the same thing numpy.txt as f1. Okay, and we'll use the same variable name. Uh, of course, anyways, like when you, I'll, I will give you guys the same code, but when you don't want to use this delimited this, you can use this one. When you want to do this, this thing, you can do this thing. Okay, so I believe you guys can do that then f1 dot close okay so let's run this thing first okay it's run properly okay and then we'll see what is the value of data so it came like this so now the main part so a equals to np dot gen from text okay then you will use string io inside that we'll put data okay and after that we'll use delimiter meter equals to like this okay it's done okay see we got the same numpy array over here okay so that's it this is a very simple thing guys so in this tutorial in a single tutorial you guys know how to create numpy array with a different delimiter that too from csv file so this is very exciting right
so that is what i'm saying try to use this logic create some sort of uh, different use cases come up if you are getting some sort of error or if you need clarification and again if you have some complex logic in your mind you can write me so what i'll do guys i will just put everything together here okay and after that i will uh, give you the full source code okay so here actually let me write del if 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 delimiter delimiter equals if delimiter is pipe okay so that's it guys uh, what i'll do i'll try to i'll try to upload the source code i'll try to upload the csv file as well as a video sorry in the video description so you guys can use it and also um, if you have any problem please let me know okay so that's it guys that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button if you have any comments or if you have any feedback please feel free to write me or else uh, you can always reach me out via my email so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have